Hi, is that Football Manager support? Yes, yes, hi. Quick question. What happens when uh, you finish a season and you have the same wins, same draws, same losses, same points, same goal difference? Who decides who wins the league? Ah, right. Yeah. Ah, so that's what happened. Got you. Bye. Hi, this is Tucker Jobs Gaming and welcome to another episode of Tactics Reviews and that what you just saw there, well, stay tuned and you'll find out what uh, what that all that was about. But uh, no, this next tactic is by Elise Fox, I've done a few by her before, it's called the Fast and Furious, spelled I-O-S, not I-O-U-S, and uh, yep, it's 4-2-3-1 and I'm going to try it out Manchester United and PSV. They took our jobs! Hi guys, this is Tucker Jobs Gaming and welcome to another episode of Tactic Reviews. Now this tactic is called the FM 20.4.14231 Fast and Furious Version 2 by Lisa Fox. So thank you for that. I'm going to try this tactic out with Manchester United. Hopefully it does well. After that I'll show you another little clip at the end when I tried it out with a PSV. So... This tactic, as you can see, advance forward in the attack position, two wingers in the support, attacker midfielder in the attack, central midfielder support, deep line playmaker support, two wing back support, two ball playing defenders in the defend, and a sweeper keeper in the attack. For those of you, as usual, on tablets and iPhones or anything like that, where you can't download the tactic, I'll just scroll over the players now so you can see the individual instructions. So, the advance forward. The winger left. Winger right, attacking midfielder centre, central midfielder, deep line playmaker, wing back left, wing back right, ball playing defender left, ball playing defender right, and a sweeper keeper. So that is that. So the attacking mentality of the tactic is attacking. Obviously, it's an attacking tactic. I do like this tactic personally myself. The uh, 4 2 3 one, so a half decent tactic. And uh, a lot of goals have been scored in this tactic. And it's good because the striker actually scores as well as the wingers. So awesome on that one. Um, fairly wild attacking. So you are going to be using the wings passing in space. You are most likely going to be counting on the speed of your players and the dribbling to get uh, for hopefully your players to get there before obviously the opposition um, to use that speed. Uh, overlap left and right so your wing backs are going to be cutting forward uh, overlapping your wingers and, and obviously doing their bit to supply the goals slightly more direct and higher tempo so slightly fast football get it forward as quick as possible and um, no dilly dallying sideways passing and stuff like that the aim of the game is to get it forward as quick as you can uh, low crosses cross to the feet um, obviously that's probably saying that there's no big lads in there uh, no headers of the ball you want you want it to you want to score them with your foot <laughs> work ball into box pretty standard on the tactics nowadays um so that's just telling your players to bide the time and score when the opportunity arises run at defense yeah you're gonna have run at defense with a team like manchester united uh, the likes of Martial, Rashford, you've got James, He's using the speed, using the dribbling, get those wingers dribbling in, cutting inside, scoring goals, supplying goals, uh, stuff like that. Uh, in transition, uh, like a lot of tactics, counter and counter pressing football. Aim of the game is to get the ball back as quick as you can. When you have got it back, go. Run forward and uh, counter as quick as you can. Um, distributing the uh, balls from your goalkeeper to your fullback, so obviously you're players are going to be starting with your left and right back players and out of position standard defensive line and much higher line of engagement so they are probably worried that your defensive line might be a bit too high so they're going to stay back just in case something bad happens but when you do get the ball when you do counter you do have a much higher line of engagement for when you start the counter attack uh, using the offside trap so hopefully you've got some smart defenders to keep that back line and uh, obviously using the offside trap against the opposition um, so their goals do not count obviously uh, tight marking says it in itself extremely urgent pressed intensity so get stuck in work pretty well to each other 
you are getting the ball back hard, you're getting the ball back fast, and you are going to start that counter as quick as you possibly can. And uh, as you can see by this team, that's the pretty much the selection advice. A few of those players might change. Uh, Tunze, he might come out. Uh, might have uh, Lindelof in there, most likely. James mm, may switch out. There's a youngster, uh, Greenwood. He plays all right on the wings, so I might put him in. Uh, Manchester United do have some pretty good wonder kids in Williams and McTominay. Uh, Greenwood, definitely. If you're going to get a wonder kid striker for the future and if you can afford him, um, Greenwood is up in the top five for me. He ends up being an immense striker if he's trained right and develops right. Uh, yeah, so all that is that. And hopefully all goes well. So I'll see you in January. Hi guys, hope you've been enjoying the video so far. And uh, if you want to see more content, hopefully you subscribe and like the videos. Yeah, because we're telling the girlfriends that are actually sitting in the garage playing football manager to the world and saying that you guys are watching. So if they ever check on YouTube and realise we've only got like 10 subscribers, we're in trouble. So please subscribe. Uh, yeah, so back to the video. Welcome back. It's now January the 1st and we are sitting a nice second. Uh, 47 points to us in third place. Man City on 37. So it looks like Liverpool and Manchester United are pretty much pulling away from the rest of the league. Uh, so it's obviously going to be between us two. Um, goals and player stats Marcus Rashford right up there with 16 um, I, I like Marcus Rashford I think he scores a lot of goals he's very underrated um, his stats should be better on this game for how many goals he does score um, it might just be the tactics that I use for him or for the pure sake because he's quick and quickness in this game is a massive factor for the kind of players that like having the balls pinged over the defenders and the running onto it anything like that awesome Lindelof second in the average ratings he's also doing very well uh, i said i would probably probably be bringing him in um good defender uh good rounded stats uh marking tackling yeah you could probably want them a bit higher up but is uh is doing well for what is uh for what he is uh, assists fernandez on 10 doing well just sitting behind salah um, fernandez is definitely playing in that um, attacking center position um so far, I'm guessing he's also playing in the midfielder for a few games, but predominantly attacking centre, doing very well. Uh, Rashford, obviously, in the advanced forward. Martial on the left, James on the right. Could switch up them two. Um, Rashford could also drop to the left. Let's have a look. So most of his games are oh, all striker, all at him. Awesome. Um, so far, player of the matches, Rashford is joint second. Uh, on four and David De Gea on 11 with clean sheets in joint first so everything's looking really good so far second place I'm happy with that they are not the team of old are they Man U um, they are in a pretty much transition period in, in real life so hopefully they'll get back to the uh, the old days and start doing well again looking at the average ratings not going to count Matic he played an 8.7 but that was over one game Daniel James 7.77 10 games 4 goals 6 assists Bruno Fernandes, 13 assists, one goal, playing 7.69. Phil Jones is even having a little bash. 2-1, uh, 7.68. Paul Pogba, obviously Paul Pogba is amazing. He's playing in that midfielder centre role. But uh, he can obviously be possible to play in that deep line playmaker. He can play in the attacking centre. He's a pretty good, good very good, world-class all-round footballer. And uh, yeah, everyone's playing absolutely amazing. No competitions, Marcus Rashford, 25 goals. So yeah, he's playing a very good zero assists. So he's a he's a bit greedy, a bit greedy. <laughs> um, looking at the schedule, some good matches. Doing pretty good in the Euro Cup so far. Seven nil, six nil, five nil, seven nil. Scoring a lot of goals there. Scoring a lot of goals indeed. Um, and as you can see, there's pretty good, pretty good results all around the table. Yeah, we lost against West Ham unfortunately, and lost against Tottenham. Uh, who else did we lose against? Everton. Uh, but apart from that, no, pretty well. Obviously, drew against Tottenham in the Premier League here. Drew against Wolves. And the rest are all wins. Good win against Chelsea. Uh, good win against Bournemouth, 5-0. Yeah, I'm happy with that. 5-0 against Arsenal. So when you do score, this tactic looks like you're scoring a lot of goals, which is, uh, which is always good. Uh, like I do on all the rest of the videos, I'll be going through the analysis of the goals. Obviously, just showing you where all the goals are being scored and where the assists are being made. Um, so you can get a little small idea of how the tactic works, like what which side predominantly is creating 
the uh, the goals and I mean you know you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, that's uh, everything is going pretty sweet. So yeah, I'll see you at the end of the season. Hopefully, we can continue this good form and maybe clinch top of the uh, top of the league. Right, we are now at the end of the season, and a little thing, little bizarre thing, has happened at the end of the season. Played 38, Liverpool, Man United. Both won 30, both drew 5, we've both lost 3. We've both got goal difference, 76, and we've both got 95 points, yet Liverpool won. Liverpool got top of the table, and poor old Manchester United had, set, had, had to settle for second position. Uh, obviously, you would have seen in the intro, my little phone call I had. Was it real? <laughs> but... Um, yeah, it turns out, obviously, they actually scored more goals in the league than I did, even though I let in less. Uh, it goes by that. So they scored 101, and I think I end up getting 94 um, goals in the league. So, yeah, they clinched top spot, unfortunately, but that's actually the first time that's ever happened to me. Uh, apart from that, though, yeah, very good tactic. Everyone's played well. Any other day, yeah, you, you could have clinched it. You could have clinched first place. Uh, you could have won by obviously more goals, could have scored more goals, could have, I don't know, obviously they could have dropped some points at some point, maybe. It's Liverpool, they are a very good team. But no, player stats, goals, Marcus Rashford, big lad, 30 goals, league goals in the season. Awesome, played amazing. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of his games were in that striker position. Yep, or he played 60 games, 60 games in all competitions a lot uh, average rating Fernandez number one Numbre 1-0 at 7.78 in the league assists Fernandez again on 21 assists all season he's played amazing on that attacking centre and midfielder but main, mainly in the attacking centre he's been absolutely amazing most likely feeding the uh, feeding the balls to Marcus Rashford to run onto and sweet sweet goals uh, player of the matches, number one again, Fernandez, clean sheets, David De Gea on 25, 25 clean, clean sheets. Obviously, that's because, I've already said, we didn't let a lot of goals in. We got 25 clean sheets out of 38 games. That is very, very good indeed. Um, looking at the players themselves, average ratings in all competitions, this is. Uh, the best player was, 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 Bruno Fernandez. Um yeah, he's a jack of all, isn't he? 17 goals, 31 assists in all competitions, playing 7.74. Absolutely amazing. Big, uh, big slab head here. Harry Maguire, 7 and 1, playing 7.47. Paul Pogba, 15 and 10. Uh, Marcus Rashford, all competitions, 46 goals and 2 assists. So he still doesn't like assisting those goals. Once he gets the ball, he's like, no, mine. <laughs> um, who else scored? Obviously, Fernandez, 17. Pogba, 15. Anthony Martial been scoring a lot of goals uh, he's been playing on the left and striker but mainly on the left um, you've got Mason Greenwood came in, he even chipped in a few important goals, uh, much needed he was playing on the right hand side mainly, uh, yeah attacking right he had three games as a striker as well obviously resting uh, Rashford uh, when he needed to be but everyone played pretty well Dan even Daniel James I mean, his stats say everything. Everything about his stats say he should not be at Manchester United. That is not a caliber of man. That is not a Manchester United caliber player. Um, I know in real life, obviously, he's fast as lightning. Uh, in here, he's got pace 19. Maybe his acceleration should be a little bit higher. But uh, nah, even he's uh, doing pretty well on six and eleven. So yeah, everyone had a good, good little, uh, good season. Um, looking at the schedule, did pretty well. Uh, unfortunately. We went out of the Carabao Cup against Cardiff. Cardiff on penalties in the Carabao Cup fourth round. But it's not all doom and gloom. Obviously, we came second in the league, even though we were joint on everything apart from league goals. Um, but we're in the Euro Cup. We're still in the FA Cup. We carried on in the Euro Cup. We carried on in the FA Cup. And we did end up clinching them 1-0 apiece on each of those games against Norwich and Lazio. So, man, you did actually end up getting the double, which is all good for me. Happy with that. Uh, looking at the analysis of the tactics and goals in all competitions, this is. Nice little wonder goal, in, uh, including your own half there, or from very deep in the centre. Uh, most goals all around here, as you can see, it's always going to be the same. 
couple outside the area, long ranges. You know, Paul Pogba likes to score those long range shots. So obviously, Bruno Fernandez is going to be doing that as well. Assist locations, 11 at the back. So your ball playing defenders are chipping in. Your right and left back might be doing the longer, the long crosses from deep. Um, obviously, a lot come from the centre. That Fernandez has been absolutely amazing. Obviously, feeding the balls through along with your maybe deep line playmaker. Uh, he might be counting in this 11 section and the right hand side 23 so yeah um the right hand side is clearly better than the left uh is that down to players we don't know is that down to the tactic could be um but i thought martial obviously with him predominantly being on the left he would supply more or maybe fernandez has been drifting more to the right hand side when supplying the goals we don't know and uh well we do know he did <laughs> and uh yeah everything went pretty darn good so i'm happy with that tactics good um, always good tactics. Um, did you like the thumbnail, by the way? A bit of Dominic Toretto with uh, Marcus Rashford, Ed. Big, big tongue lad. <laughs> but uh, no, everything went well. I'm happy with this tactic. Obviously, I will be happy with this tactic anyway. It's 4 2 3 1, one of my personal favourites. Um, I've always said my favourite ever position is always the Mozilla, attacking Mozilla. Love it. Bit of attacking up, uh, up high, high up the pitch. And then. Um, obviously assisting in the in the attacking movements um, but this tactic never had a Mozilla that might be might, might be something I might change uh, instead of the central midfielder have an attacking Mozilla uh, if I could but uh, yeah awesome nice one let's uh, go all the way to Holland and try it on PSV right went all the way to Holland chuck the tactic on PSV off you go and yeah they didn't do too bad they were predicted to come second and they did come second um 83 points to ix's 87 there's no there's no reason why on a good day um ix would have dropped some points and you would have maybe gained some a few more and uh, you could have clinched the title um there's nothing telling me that you was outclassed um you and ix pulled away from the rest of the league there's uh there's nearly 20 points difference and you in third place um Malin, third place in the uh, goals with 16. Rodriguez, average rating. So you've got the best player in the league um, playing for you. He is the left back. He's on loan from Milan, unfortunately, so it's not yours. But you do have him for that first season. He looks absolutely incredible as well for a left back. Been playing very well. Um, obviously, Rodriguez again with 13 assists. So he's worked very hard. Pair of the matches, five um, for Rodriguez again. Another stall on 19 second on clean sheet. So yeah, this tactic uh, pretty much works for both teams. So there's no reason why it won't work for other teams as well. Um, obviously, tactic is not all be all and end all of everything. Um, you do have to work on your shots, on your rotations of your players. Obviously, people are going to get tired. Um, you might have to uh, change your... Um, mentality um, during the games um, adjust them as you see fit defense cautious extra attacking anything like that if you need it and so everything's always going to change but as a baseline yeah tactics looking pretty solid squad everyone played all right obviously rodriguez was top with 7.61 no competitions 22 assists and 10 goals uh, malin here on 29 goals and six assists on all competitions did pretty well um this guy 18 is unhappy why is he unhappy wants a new contract wants a new contract because he scored 18 goals i know what he's on about i got you i got your number uh, 18 goals and six assists uh Bruma did very well pretty much an all-rounder uh, 11 and 12 which position was he playing in most of them he was the uh, predominantly the attacking left so yeah he did very well um rodriguez obviously we've established that he was at the left uh yeah, he would have been the striker, development, tactics. Yep, striker and attacking right he played. Um, for those of you wanting the pretty much, you just can see from the apps here, that's mostly the players played. Obviously from Schwab um, upwards are the first teamers. But yeah, everything played pretty well for them. Um, tactics analysis on these guys. Um, two worlders at some point in the season. Uh, but everything else pretty much standard assist locations again unlike Man U this time the left and right is pretty even so th that's telling me basically Man U's probably got the better players on that right hand side and yeah go for it go for it use the tactic awesome and uh, 
yeah if you enjoyed the video guys subscribe like and watch some more there's plenty on the channel uh, don't be shy uh, leave a comment as well um how are you liking the thumbnails as well i've i've, I've been enjoying them um obviously when people are making these tactics uh, they call them by daft names like this one fast and furious spelled ios uh, i've had the um what's it called the phantom menace uh, stuff like that and it gives me those small little ideas for the thumbnails just to keep them a little bit interesting obviously with Darth Maul and we've got this Fast and Furious one I've put Rashford Z on there with Dominic Toretto and plenty plenty of other uh, uh, ideas so if you do have a good tactic uh, give it a good name give it an interesting name something I can work with and uh, maybe you might see your content up here in the foreseeable future so yeah as I said subscribe like and I'll see you when I see you. See you later. Bye.